Hi guys, welcome Hi. to women. Welcome to Women Who Wine. I'm Patrice, and I'm Gloria of Arab Hills Winery. Um, we're just here today to reconnect with our current customers, and those and get those of you that don't know us can get to know us. Um, we started about five years ago, and like any small business, from an idea, her idea. <laughs> Actually, it was my brother, my older brother James's idea, and he decided he wanted to start a wine business and. Teresa and I just took it in and I'm off with it. Yeah, actually, I came home from living out of town and she had all this wine everywhere. So I was like, uh, either you got a problem or what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> but she's making wine and I suggested that we go ahead and get into festivals so that at least she could recoup the money that she was putting into the business instead of spending all her money out of her pocket. And then here we are <laughs> with everything else. Five, what, six years later? Yeah. <laughs> I um, mean, like any small business, we have our struggles, but I would say they're all worth it. <laughs> they are worth it. Um, about a year ago, we had an actual physical store location. Wasn't it about a year ago that we had it? Mm -hmm. That we actually had uh, yeah, the store. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're right. It was actually about a year ago. And um, like most small businesses, the overhead ended up being more than what we were producing, which... I came to find out that statistically it was a low season for wine and we really weren't making as much money as we initially went into the business making. Yes, and wine sales, they say, hadn't been that low in the past 30 years, right? Or somewhere in that range. Yes, yes at an all-time low. So. Right, and a lot of you thought that that meant we had stopped doing the business completely, but in the meantime, we've actually been getting our production up, producing a lot of wine, coming up with some new, new wines that we'll introduce to you in later episodes. Um, we had a full fe uh, festival schedule for this season, but unfortunately, as we all know, COVID came along and swept away a lot of the things that everybody thought they were going to do this year. Yeah. <laughs> but we did do one, the first one of the, well, not exactly the first one of the season, um, maybe like the third or fourth, somewhere in there. But anyway, we did what was called the Flying Feds, and it was a pretty good turnout, but there was a few wineries and other vendors that didn't show up because of the COVID. And at that time... COVID hadn't blew up like it is now. So no one had on masks and we were all doing fine. And what, the very next week, <laughs> everything was closed down and schools were closed. Yeah, thank God we stayed healthy. <laughs> and no one, no one at the festival has gotten ill. So, that's a, so that was a blessing. That was a blessing, yeah. Uh, along with new wines, we uh, actually plan on having the uh, wine shack It'll be, oh yeah, yeah, it'll be in our home, in our backyard, should I say, like our she shed. But you guys are going to be welcome to come. We'll be serving wine there, maybe doing a few painting party parties, parties do events. Yeah, so you can at least come to uh, and enjoy our company in person soon. Hopefully, we're getting things in order. Um, <laughs> on Women Who Wine, we're going to be doing things like introducing our wines. We have one here today that we'll be introducing shortly. Uh, we'll give, be giving you a little uh, wine information, wine pairings, things you can pair our wines and wines with. Oh, we'll be introducing other uh, wine from uh, local wine vendors, other yeah. local wineries. Yeah. yeah. We just we're pretty close to follow them, so I'm sure you guys know. Right. And we just want to get you familiar with some of the other wines in the area. Yeah. Um, you know, we're all in this together. <laughs> and it would be great if we could get enough information out there where Oklahoma itself is drinking more of Oklahoma wine. Because if you go into stores like Walmart, now that they can sell, all you see is mostly California wines. Everything is California when there's vendors right here in Oklahoma making just as good, if not better wines than what they're shipping in. So. Right, so if you go into your local grocer or liquor store and you've tried any of our wines or any of the other wineries, wineries, be sure to ask for them to get them on stock so that they can reach out to us and we can get some of our wines in your local uh, liquor stores and grocers. Yes. Um, today we're going to be introducing though, we're going to go ahead and introduce our blackberry wine. This is probably one of our first sweet wines that we've started producing, I think. Yes, it, it was. was. Yeah. It was our very first, first sweet, yes. which is not typical to have a red sweet wine. Yes. I don't think you'll find very many of those. I mean, more so now than you did back when we first made this, I guess I would say. Yeah. Um, it's a mild red because it's a Pinot Noir, which they consider a, no a novice red. So if you're trying to transition from white to red, this one is mild and it uh, isn't as dry as most red wines are. 
So it makes the transition a little bit easier on top of having the blackberry, which gives it a little bit of a sweeter flavor. Um, the alcohol content is for a sweet wine. It's still pretty good. It's up in like 13.5, which is good for a sweet wine. Most sweet wines you'll see, especially like most Moscatos, they may be like 4%, 5%. I think the highest one I've ever seen is maybe a 7%. Unlike mine, which is 10%. Um, this will probably pair well with the steak, um, any red meat pretty much. Pizza maybe. People say hamburger sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but I think hamburger will too. Anything. <laughs> I'm a hamburger lover. Yeah, right. No matter what wine pairs with, well with, you can drink it with anything you really want to drink it with. That's, That's how true. I see. <laughs> Don't let nobody put you in a box or put you exactly. in your wine in a box. And, oh, this wine only goes with this. You can only drink this with this. This wine has to be room temperature. This wine has to be chill. Drink your wine any way you want it. Do you, boo boo? Love it. <laughs> she said. probably one of my favorite reds that we have. I feel like it's an easy drinker. You can, like you say, chill it and just have a glass. It's my, yeah, my only one I like, honestly. I mean, we have a chocolate wine, and I'm not a big chocolate fan, but um, this is definitely a very good one. Sweet wine, dark wine. Right. So, we're just here, like I said, we want to introduce ourselves to you guys today uh, so that you get to get could get to know a little bit more about us. If you have any questions or anything you'd like us to talk about on our next video, just leave a comment below, and we'll be uh, we'll try to get to that answers. If you're concerned, if you're curious about what um, a wine that you have, what, what it would pair with, yeah. I'm having a hard time here today. What it pair with? You can put that down there as well. Like I said, we're here to help. Um, we'll be having miscellaneous conversations as well, guys. While we're sipping on wine, you can grab your glass and just drink along with us. Exactly. Uh, again, I'm Patrice and I'm Gloria, and we're with Arabian Hills Winery. We'll be here every Wednesday. Uh, check us out. <laughs>